Hey guys, um, happy Vlogmas. Um, just make sure you guys couldn't see my underwear. <laughs> so clearly it's Sunday, I'm just chilling in the house. Um, I just did a bunch of um, random miscellaneous things that I had to do today, but I couldn't do that much because, you know, after all it is Sunday. Let me not start with the touching of the hair. You guys, I truly watch, rewatch my videos and I'm like so distraught because why am I like this? Anyways, so today's video is going to be reading your guys' assumptions of me. And um, I've seen a lot of people do this, but I've actually never watched. Okay, I'm saying I saw a lot of people do this, but I really haven't seen a lot of people do this. I've seen like the videos, but I've never like watched them. So I don't know exactly how people do them, but Y'all, I just asked y'all on Instagram to read, um, I just asked y'all on Instagram for me to read and, you know, maybe clear up some assumptions about me or, like, confirm some assumptions about me. I don't know, but, um, yeah. But let's just get into it. This might be a long video. I don't know. Um... Okay, one of the first ones. You're actually really smart. You just don't show it. I don't feel like I act dumb. Um, I am pretty smart. Actually, I will say that when people meet me and get to know me, they're always like, I was surprised at how smart you were. And it's low-key kind of an insult because it's like, why did you think I was dumb? And I don't know if it's like the boobs or the butt or like what it is, but people think, that I'm just dumb. I'm not dumb. I didn't go to college, but I'm not dumb in any way, shape, or form. But anywho, okay, um, that you're super funny and a great friend, but also a huge bitch sometimes. Yeah, I would say that's accurate. I mean, we all, you know, get a little bitchy sometimes. Um, ghetto is hell. So a lot of people do think I'm ghetto and I will say this to be, um, I wouldn't necessarily say that it's true. I mean, like I grew up in the Bay Area. I grew up in the ghetto, um, you know, around ghetto people. I'm a little ghetto, but you know, just like the, just the right amount. Like I'm also very bougie. People call me bougie a lot. So I don't know. I'm a little hood, but it's okay. Like. That's always fine. It's always fine. Just be yourself. It's always fine to be yourself. Um, that you've had more than 10 abortions. I have not had more than 10 abortions. Like, you guys, I make a lot of abortion jokes because I think they're funny and I just get, you know, butterflies in my stomach with dark humor. Like, I just crack up at very sick, twisted humor. But no, I have not had more than 10 abortions. I don't even know if that's possible. I didn't lose my virginity until I was 17. So that's 10 years ago. So that means I would have to have an abortion every single year since I started having sex? No, definitely not. Um, you're from New York, specifically the Bronx. I'm from, like I said, the Bay Area. I'm from the East Bay Area. So I was raised in Oakland, Berkeley, Richmond. Um, none of that other stuff. Absolutely not. Uh, you can hold your liquor really well. Okay, so this is actually low-key funny because my friends always tell me that they cannot tell when I am like blacked out drunk, but I be drunk. Like, I don't know why, but like I usually get like really quiet when I'm drunk because I'm like in my head, I'm like, oh my God, I'm so drunk. Oh my God, I'm so drunk. Or I call everybody, every guy in my phone and I bother them. I have so many embarrassing moments of me calling guys that I used to date or like still date and like either causing a problem and then I wake up like, oh my gosh, why did I do that? I've had a lot of those moments, I'm not gonna lie. It's just the other day, like I've been talking to an old friend of mine and uh, we like everything's been really good and I 
was actually shocked that I hadn't cussed him out yet. The other day I was drinking, it came out, it came out, you know? So luckily I am more mature now and I can apologize, but so funny. Somebody said you always date men with a girlfriend. The same person said you're always a side chick. I've never dated a man with a girlfriend. I have never been a side chick, despite what some of last year's blogs may have said about my ex, uh, my ex boo. Uh, I was never a side chick. I've been dating him on and off since 2017. She was the new bitch. I've never been a side chick. I've never dated anybody with a girlfriend. Guys try me all the time and I never go for it, so. Um. I'm not gonna answer all these freaky ones, like, no. Um, oh, here's a good one, because I was just talking about this today with Millie, that you're the reason why you have fallouts with former friends. I have fallen out with um, about four friends of mine. Three, I would say three friends of mine. And, um, oh, and her. But honestly, no, there's a lot of stuff that you guys don't know that goes on behind closed doors um, that I have never brought to the internet. Uh, and that's just a matter of fact. I have had friends that have done me really, really, really wrong. I've had friends that we've literally physically fought and you guys never knew about it. And there's videos and everything and I would never put that out on the internet. Um, but that's just like, I keep pretty much the reasons why I don't talk to certain people anymore, private. Um, have I made mistakes in friendships? Absolutely, we're all human. But I can honestly say that I've been done pretty shady by some of those people I don't talk to anymore. So y'all could just do what you want with that. Um, you're a mean girl and not friendly at all. I'm not mean and I'm very friendly. And people do always tell me when they mean me, they're like, oh my God, I thought you are gonna be so mean, but you're so nice. I am nice. I can be mean though, if I have to be mean. Or if like, I don't get a good vibe from you. Yeah, I could be mean, true, true, true. You don't date a lot. You're more of a relationship person. Um, you don't date a lot. You're more of a relationship person. And then somebody said, you know your worth 100% single by choice. So I would definitely say I am single by choice because I can settle for a lot of situations that I've been in, but I don't settle for them because I'm not having it like I don't need to I don't really need to have it like I don't I don't need to let nobody cheat on me I don't really need to let nobody dog me out like I've had my years of being faithful to a cheater I've had my years of being faithful to a woman beater I've had my years of being faithful to somebody I wasn't even in a relationship with like you know like I've had all these times and I just feel like until somebody like completely like steps up and like you know checks all my boxes then I'm I'm doing me babes you know so I guess I am single by choice because it's a couple people that I could just settle for not lame not they're not lame dudes either they're just like I don't have time for the shenanigans babes um you low-key miss your old body I don't really miss my old body. Um, yeah, I don't really miss my old body, to be honest. Like, when I was, like, deformed, yes, I missed my old body. And I was like, okay, why did I do this? Like, oh, my gosh, I wish I could just go back, blah, blah, blah. But, like, now I'm, like, I'm, I'm fine with it. Like, whatever. You guys, I'm about to put this freaking clip in my hair because this is, like, the only way i found that I can, like, quit touching my hair is by just, like, going like this. This is some like 90s thing. Like a 90s hair clap. It looks like I'm trying to have like a snooky bump. Oh my gosh, why isn't it working? I literally just do this at home and it looks pretty ugly, so don't judge me. No, that looks too ugly. I'm judging me. Um, there's somebody arguing outside of my house right now, probably a freaking crackhead. 
your room be messy as hell no my house is always clean um there's very rare moments when my house is dirty i feel like i'm constantly cleaning actually um also which is why i um hate having roommates because i hate oh my god i just read something <laughs> i hate dirty girls i hate i hate that i mean if i like get ready like yes clothes will be all over the place but like i'm gonna pick them pretty much up like right away um uh let's see you're actually sensitive as hell that is true i'm very very sensitive i'm a very emotionally um passionate person P people who really know me will tell you that i'm very very sensitive uh, i am really sensitive but not really like with like online hate comments and stuff because like now i'm pretty much used to that but like in relationships friendships family i'm i'm pretty sensitive you're transgender i'm not transgender guys um i know i kind of look like a boy a little bit i used to look like a boy more when i had like my butt chin but no i'm a girl i'm a pretty girl i'm a pretty girl um uh, but no i'm not transgender nothing wrong with that but i'm just not transgender um you have a bad temper yeah um i i would say that i have a type of temper that's like uh like i can tolerate a lot but i'm this type of person i just let it build let it build let it build and then i explode very much so taurus of me because i'm a taurus so that is one thing i will say is so true like i will i'll take a lot of crap and then once i decide not to um take it no more boom it's over you got a lot of bodies um i don't know what y'all consider a lot so i didn't get him wow there's so many ones like that are saying that oh you're a hoe you're a hoe you're a hoe i'm really not even a hoe like i could definitely be thoughting a lot harder than i do i could but i really don't be liking that many guys like i really find them annoying dumb aggravating like just all of the above like I and also I'm not the type of person to entertain somebody that I don't like like I'm not gonna sit there and have a conversation with you just because you got money or just because you're popping like if I just don't like you I'm not gonna sit there and try to make it work because you got money everybody all these dudes all these dudes got money all these dudes are rich all these dudes are famous all these dudes are doing something like I don't pay hey, there's there's a million of you let's just be real I really don't feel pressed off of just one um you got that WAP <laughs> Yes, how did you know? Accurate, 100% accurate. Like, the You're mixed with more ethnicities, not just black and white. Uh, no, I'm pretty much just black and white. I'm only 7% South Asian, Indian. Um, I wish I was more, cause like, that's really cute. But no, I'm really honestly pretty much just European and African and just that little smidgelet but it's cool it's cool it's cool it's cool that you're a total brat um there's a couple guys that will definitely say couple pretty much everybody i've dated has called me a brat spoiled uh if it's not my way it's a problem and yes that is 100 percent true and i live by that so get with the times babe get with the times you used to be a stripper yes i did used to be a stripper i was a stripper um from 17 to 20 and um then i stopped and i changed my life so pretty much that's your biggest fear in life is being alone um no my biggest fear in life is dying um i'm not really scared to be alone i live alone i know i i've always been very very independent from like forever like if you imagine a child like i was like matilda growing up like my mom was always gone um i was like taking care of myself i taught myself 
a lot like really really like pretty much everything i know i didn't really have nobody to guide me when i was growing up not to get all deep but like i'm very independent i'm not afraid to be alone somebody said i assume you are this over exaggerated because you need for attention is how you be coping i'm not over exaggerating anything about myself i'm always a hundred percent myself and always a hundred percent my real personality like i never i never act like anybody but myself so if you think i'm a lot it's just because you're not enough because this is just who the hell i am honestly anybody will tell you i assume you're crazy as hell and you don't give a f but you're a bad b with a good heart love you bitch. thank you i don't really know what assumption that was but that was that was sweet um you can get any man you want which is probably true because you're a bomb can i get any man i want no can i have sex with any man i want yes probably because men are easy men are horse like let's just get down to the bottom men will honestly have sex with anything so it's like not that it's not that shocking like honestly men are so easy it's it's <laughs> it's so crazy somebody said you like to steal people's men no i've never stolen anybody's boyfriend i've literally never stolen anybody's boyfriend at all somebody said no personality you're just fake circle back to what i just said i'm always myself um <laughs> what that you are the annoying friend in real life and deep down you're jealous of your pretty friends literally all of my friends are pretty so i guess i'm just freaking jealous of them all um but actually no i can honestly say i have never been jealous of another bitch in my life and i really really live by that i mean babe like no i was just talking about that last night with my homegirls i for <laughs> i'm not even gonna tell you what we were saying because that's kind of nasty but i never been jealous of nobody you're secretly a stoner no i don't smoke weed you gonna have kids with a dark skin man um hopefully i mean i'm not trying to say it like that but um i would like to you know get all of the colonizer genes out of my bloodline as soon as possible so we could just you know sift those out along the way that would always be great You like females too. Hmm. You know what? I've been dipping and dabbling with that um, myself. I'm a little confused. I would like to maybe try to date a girl, but I'm extremely picky about women. Like, if I was to date a girl, she would have to be like petite, but like a nice body. But like, I don't like thick girls. Like, she would have to look a certain way. She, no offense, she could not be white. Um, sorry um and she would have to be like more of the passive one because i just can't imagine myself being a girl and like being less dominant like no that's out that you only mess with ugly men none of my old dudes are ugly none of my current guys that i speak to are ugly so that's not true i think everybody i've dated is fine but it's just so funny because everybody i've dated is like so like not anything like each other so i don't really have a type honestly do no I, I do have a type but like they don't have to look a certain way i don't have a physical type You care a lot about what people think about you. 
I'm gonna have to go ahead and say, and say that this is not true because honestly, if it was true, I probably wouldn't do half of the embarrassing shit that I do. I embarrass myself all the time, so openly and so freely. And I look at it sometimes and I'm like, should I be doing that? And then I'm like, I really just don't care. Truly don't. Um. You're ready to settle down, but it's hard to meet someone genuine in the industry you're in. I, ugh, see, like I said earlier, like if I met somebody who like checked all of the boxes and like wasn't a piece of crap, I would settle down. But like this person said, it is really hard to find somebody in, you know, just, I guess my forte of living. I don't even know the proper way to say it. But it is hard to find somebody like that's just like everything you want. And if they are everything you want, they got like 400 bitches. So it's like, I will not be 401, you know? You definitely beat on men. Um, no comment. You have a smart mouth and it's not cute change that no i'm gonna continue being myself but thank you you're a colorist i'm not a colorist i mean i did just say i want to wipe out all my colonizer genes um but i wouldn't i'm not colorist like no i'm not colorist Uh, you for real make grown men cry. I have before and, and you know what? I'm really proud of that because men deserve to cry. Um, but men have also made me cry. So I'm not that tough, you know? What? Okay, I'm not gonna read that because people are crazy. That you've changed drastically since BGC. Yes, obviously. In the span of like five years. Yes, you guys. Come on, bro. Like, people are so annoying. <sighs> You're obsessed with men. Ah. It do be fun. I'm not gonna lie. Um, you know, I like dating people. And I think it's fun. And I think it's funny. I like toxic stuff because it's funny it's entertaining i just think it's entertaining okay i'd be sitting up here lying and saying like i'm not interested in i'm not a little boy crazy i'm a little boy crazy it's fun you're shy in real life no i'm not shy in real life i'm not shy anytime um yeah no i'm not shy um you wished you looked black uh no i wish I looked black I wish that people could tell a little more that I was actually black uh but I am fine with how I look um when I was younger though I definitely was like why am I so white looking like it became like really uncomfortable for me when like I had cousins of mine like why are you so white and I'd be like what the, what the fuck are you talking about like I thought we was like uh yeah no um i definitely used to think that i looked blacker because of just the shit that i had to go through by not looking black enough but now it's just kind of like whatever ain't nobody gonna say shit to my face so whatever um jay cook didn't like you Oh my gosh, my bad guys, my freaking camera cut off. But this is a good one. It says, Jay Cook didn't like you, question mark. Um, I think that Jay Cook is really sweet. He's super cool. Um, but I think that I'm a lot for him. I don't think that I would be good for him. He's really sweet though. He's, he's cool as hell, he definitely has a friend in me, um, but I'm just, you guys, I'm a lot to handle. I'm not trying to say, oh, he couldn't handle me, but like, I'm a lot to a lot of people. I don't think that he didn't dislike me. I, we're still cool, so whatever. You are not completely honest about your past. Um, 
no, I'm completely honest about my past. I'm very transparent and I'm writing a book about my past. So you guys are gonna know everything. If you think I'm, you know, not. You're an escort. No, I'm not an escort. You know what's so crazy? Every time something happens with me on the internet, people call me a prosty. And I'm just like, I'm really not a prostitute. Like, I really don't do that. Um, I really don't have to do that. Uh, I'm not missing no meals. And I'm not wanting for anything. So, no. But shout out to all the prosties, the escorts. I'm not mad at you doing your thing. You're expensive. Uh, yeah, I'm expensive. And I pay for everything myself. People think that men like pay for everything in my life. They're like, oh my God, teach me how to get a sugar daddy. And I'm like, oh babe, I don't, I don't have a sugar daddy. Like if I've ever said that, I was joking. I handle everything around this bitch. So there's that. I mean like, I've obviously I've had exes that like give me stuff and give me money, whatever. Here and there, but like for the most part, like I'm very independent, so. Ain't nobody paying my damn bills. I pay my bills, okay? Um, I'm gonna do only two more. Because there's so many. Let me just like. Somebody said, you portray yourself as funny, cute, and an influencer, but you're actually an opportunist and a bitch. Who do I be trying to get opportunities off of? Do I be posting bitches? No. Do I be posting every man that I've dated? No. Um, do I put people on blast and expose them? No. Do you know how many opportunities I could have taken in my life that could have probably had me on a way higher platform, but I'm not a cloud chasing weirdo? That's just wrong, sorry. It's just completely wrong. Um, there's so many that say that you're mean, that you're mean, that you're mean, that you're mean. Not even mean. I'll do one more good one. You're a, you're a killer waiting to snap. No, I could never kill anybody. I could never kill anybody, honestly. Like, that's just too much. And the last one to top it off, the best one, that your cootie cat doesn't ever smell. And that's true, it doesn't ever smell. So thank you guys for joining me on this beautiful um, Sunday night. Obviously this video is gonna be up tomorrow. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope uh, if anything you guys got some answers to some of your questions and love you, hate you, bye.